Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a foundation review and I'm super, super excited to be reviewing this foundation and it is the Lawless Woke Up Like This Flawless Finish Makeup. So this foundation is one of the clean ones on Sephora. If you go on the Sephora app and website now, they have the little clean at Sephora green logo on stuff that has super clean ingredients. And that's what really attracted me to this brand. I also have the liquid lipstick from them that I've been liking lately. And I just really like clean beauty brands and I think that's the way that the industry is going. So I'm super excited to try this. Um, and I just want to let you know a few details about it. It was $46. I actually ordered mine from the Lawless website on the day that it came out but it's now available on Sephora which is a lot easier if you already have your Sephora account set up and I got the shade Oasis which is the second lightest one and this packaging is super luxe by the way it's like a very sturdy nice box and it pops out like this and then there's the foundation in here and like I said I got the shade Oasis which is like for fair skin tones with yellow undertones which should be perfect for me hopefully and it's got a nice little pump on it, a nice frosted glass bottle. So this is supposed to be full coverage, but have a natural kind of satin finish, so not dry down too matte. So I'm super pumped to try it, and let's get started. So I don't have any primer on, I just applied my regular skincare and SPF, and I'm gonna go straight in with the foundation because that's just how I like to test foundations to see their true wear time. And I'm just gonna kind of shake it up a little bit, I'm not sure if it needs to be super shook up, but just a little bit. And I'm also going to be applying this with a damp beauty blender, which is my favorite way to apply all foundations. So that's always how I test it out. And this color looks like it's gonna be a good match for me. So let's hope so. And let's try to pump it out. Okay, so the first pump is pretty small there on my beauty blender, but I'm just going to get started. This is gonna be super full coverage apparently. So maybe a little bit will go a long way. And yeah, this color actually looks like it will work out. And one thing I did hear about this foundation is since it has cleaner, more natural ingredients and it's supposed to have a satin finish, it takes a little bit longer than a traditional foundation to kind of dry down. So you're supposed to wait, I think like 60, 40 or 60 seconds or something until it dries down to kind of move on and set and powder and everything because you want it to be like completely set into the skin. I'm pretty surprised right off the bat that this actually has a pretty strong smell. It kind of smells citrusy, it smells good. It kind of reminds me of the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but more citrusy than that one. And I'm just going to take one more pump, at least, and spread this on the cheeks. I finished blending in those two pumps of mascara and it looks pretty good. I think I could build this up to an even fuller coverage, but I'll just come a little closer so that you guys can kind of see how it's handled the texture on my face. And also I have a lot of dark scarring and discoloration, some big blemishes here and more of that on this side as well. And everything's pretty much completely covered. Just for fun, I'm taking one more pump of this and spreading it all over the face just to see how full of a coverage we can really get out of it and see how this layers. So I've waited at least 60 seconds and now I'm back. I have that last layer kind of blended on. I definitely need to apply concealer and finish off the look, but this is how the foundation is looking so far. It definitely stays very wet and does not matte down and is very kind of shiny and has that satin finish, but that's what it says it's supposed to have. So I actually really like the full coverage so far and this color match is definitely going to work. So overall, I'm pleased so far. I'm going to finish up my makeups, um, apply concealer and set my face. And I'm going to set using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus because this is my all time favorite setting powder and I always test foundations with this. So I'll be right back as soon as I have my makeup done. Okay, so I finished off the rest of my makeup. I powdered using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, bronze, blush, highlighter, finished up my eye makeup and applied my Lawless Liquid Lip because it only made sense to use that while I was trying out their foundation. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys can kind of see on camera how full coverage it is. It gave really nice coverage and it does leave a really satin finish. The powder I used wasn't super matte. It's kind of a nice natural mineral finish. And for me, I should have mentioned earlier, I have oily skin. So for something to have a satin finish, I know it's kind of gonna get oily on me throughout the day, but I do like the, how it looks now. It looked really healthy and glowy and luminous. I'm just worried that probably throughout the day, and especially as I go out in the sun and stuff, it's going to melt a little bit and hopefully not separate or do any of that kind of stuff. So we'll see how it holds up throughout the day. I'll check in with you later and see how it wears after several hours. I'm going to a dinner party a little bit later and 
and all kinds of stuff. So I'll check back in at night to see how everything's looking. But first impressions are, it's a really beautiful satin finish. I think if you had normal or drier skin, this would look really beautiful. Super oily skin, I might be a little wary of it, but we'll see how it wears. And now it's been about eight hours since I applied this foundation and it's definitely looking a little worse for the wear. It's been a long day. I was at a dinner party um, for birthdays for some friends and it just, I'm hoping the lighting's okay. It's like dark, it's nighttime. I'm doing the best I can, but it really kind of separated and is really showing a lot of texture in my skin, especially around kind of this area of my face where I get a lot of large pores and texture and on my chin, but I didn't touch up at all today. So I think by just like blotting with my beauty blender, it will really kind of help the foundation meld back in. I think personally I would wear this foundation with a primer just for how it looked on my pores. It didn't really smooth over any pores and that's because since it's such a natural formula it doesn't have any silicones or any of those nasty ingredients that usually do that kind of pore filling and pore clogging. So since this doesn't have that that's kind of why I think you can see more texture on my skin and why you can see that more initially right after applying it. You can still kind of see pores. And for that reason, I think it kind of does look a little bit like makeup sitting on top of the skin, not so much like that flawless smoothed over base. But I will say this, from far away, it looks really good. Like from cosmetic distance, which is like the distance someone like normal that would be standing next to you would be, it looks good. Like if someone was standing next to you, they would think that your makeup looked okay. And in photos, it looks okay. But if someone's really close to your face, you know, really tight in there, I think that's where it kind of looks a little less perfect. I would definitely say it kind of clings to some of my pores, but I don't have the like best even skin. So for me, I kind of expect that with all foundations. And like I say, I think just a primer might solve all my problems with this. Overall though, I'm really pleased with the foundation and it does look pretty good. Like the separation around my nose and on other parts of my face could have been a lot worse. The one thing that I will say is because it is a satin finish, it does definitely transfer easily. Like I accidentally touched my face a few times throughout the day and immediately I could kind of like see the foundation on my hand. So it definitely kind of transfers easily and if you have oily skin, I think this probably isn't the best foundation for you just because it transfers easily and doesn't set down to a nice matte finish it kind of keeps you looking oily and if you already have oily skin it could get super oily but if you have drier or more normal skin and if you're looking for a super clean formula I would definitely recommend this I think the color match was really beautiful for me they have about 20 shades in this range so pretty good for just starting out with uh, the first foundation from this collection and I think it blended really nicely and I was very happy with the coverage throughout the day like it didn't fade although it is kind of moving around a bit and showing my pores the darkness on my skin is still covered like especially on my cheek and on these large blemishes here they're still not peeking through with like darkness although you can kind of see the skin texture the color is still looking really well so I was really impressed with the high coverage of this formula especially for a natural foundation I was super pleased and hopefully that sways your opinion on whether or not to check out this Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation. I would actually recommend it. It's kind of expensive, but if you're a beauty junkie and you want to see a clean formula and try it out, that's full coverage. I would definitely recommend this one. And that's it for this review of the Lawless Woke Up Like This foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video and seeing me apply the foundation and get my first impressions and also see how it wore throughout the day and get kind of a quick little review on this guy. I was super excited to try it out so I'm glad that I got to share my opinions with you. As always, all the products that I'm wearing and mentioned will be listed in the description box down below if you're curious. So check that out and also please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video. I upload two days a week at the moment on Monday and Thursday and thank you so much for watching.